Hello, this is Michael Williams. wanted to do a really quick video for you regarding the subject of modeling and how, in fact, modeling is one of the fastest and easiest ways to build a brand new speaking style. And I know what some people are thinking, I don't want to build a new speaking style. Uh, I want to speak better using my own style. I don't want to create a new identity. Why do I have to pretend like I'm someone else when I'm speaking? So these are some of the questions and there are even some people out there saying, hey, why would you want to do that? Let me just show you in a few days how you can build a new speaking style and make it your own. Have it be your own speaking style. Why pretend to be someone else? So I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I want you to do some research and I want you to look up something called observational learning. Observational learning. Look that up and you'll find that a part of observational learning is modeling. That's number one. Number two, anyone who says that modeling is not good and you shouldn't have to do it and you should try to build your own speaking style and use these techniques, they either are not aware or they are simply telling you an untruth in that they themselves modeled many times, especially when it comes to speech. How did they learn to speak their first language? They modeled. They didn't read a book. They didn't know how to read a book, right? They modeled. They modeled the people around them, probably their family, probably their parents, whoever raised them, they modeled. How did they learn how to do many of the things that they originally learned how to do? They modeled through observation. They modeled they imitated, they mimicked. Modeling is one of the most natural ways that we learn. It's built in, right? It's built in to our genetic code, if you will, to allow us, without having to take a class or read a book or watch a video, wasn't videos way back, right? listen to it, to learn something, right? We have to have a natural way of learning. And that's one of the ways we learn. So do your research, number two understand that modeling is very natural. So then someone says, well, you know, just because I learned uh, certain things growing up doesn't mean that that's the best way for me to learn now. Well, you're right. It may not be the best way for you to learn. There are many, many other ways to learn skills and to learn abilities and characteristics. Modeling happens to be one of them, and there are some built-in benefits to modeling. I want you to think about your speech like this. We're specifically talking about speech now, but you can use modeling. In fact, let me say this. Athletes have modeled and model. Musicians model. Artists model. Singers model. Actors model. Speakers model. And we can go on and on and on and look at people who are at the top of their game model. So if anyone says, oh, you shouldn't model, blah, 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 well, they probably don't know what they're talking about because many of the people who are great at what they do modeled someone else, right? To a degree, they modeled someone else. Now, here's the key. Modeling someone else doesn't mean that you have to be like that person forever, right? It doesn't mean you lose your own, your own identity. What you're actually doing is you're creating a better version of you, right? You're creating a better version of you by refocusing your attention on how someone else does something, the skill in which they do it, the techniques that they do it, the confidence that they do it with, you're focusing on that, you're imitating and mimicking that, and what it's doing is it's creating a better version of you, okay? So I want you to picture in a speech like this. Modeling is a bridge that bridges if you will, a, a chasm or a valley, right? A canyon. And you can choose to climb down that canyon and navigate through it and through all the stuff that's in the canyon and climb up the other side. So you can build your own speaking style, your own skills that way. It's longer and it's harder, but it works. But it works. Modeling is a bridge that takes you over. It's not easy, but it's easier. It's, it's not necessarily fast. For some people it is easy and for some people it is fast, but for others it's, 
it's not easy. It's not easy or fast in the very beginning, but it gets easier and faster the more you do it. So it's like a bridge. So imagine you got the bridge and then you got the canyon road where you're going down. Which do you want? Why is modeling easier and faster? Because it's what we call a positive or constructive distractor, right? So rather than you having to build, your, build a new belief system about the way you speak, figure out all of the skills and techniques and someone says, well, there's only a couple and all you have to do is learn this. And for some people that's right. But the goal of the Pronity speech system is not just to help you not stutter. In fact, that's not even our goal at all. Our goal is to help you become an excellent speaker. It's to help you speak smoother, present more powerfully, and grab that success that you've been looking for. So this isn't really about stuttering. It's about helping you speak smoother and present more powerfully. And it just so happens that because I struggle with stuttering and I've done a lot of work with people who stutter, those are the people who I tend to work with because I know that you have the ability to become excellent, exceptional speakers. People who have disfluent speech. One way, maybe it's not even stuttering, maybe it's just speaking too fast or whatever. So what modeling does is it's a positive distractor, constructive distractor. It distracts you from yourself, from your current identity, your beliefs your experiences that you've had in the past. Here's what your brain does. Your brain, whenever you're faced with any kind of a situation, especially a speaking situation, your brain goes in and looks for similar historic patterns. How have we behaved like this before? Is there anything we've done like this? Well, yes, I've ordered food before. Yes, I've said my name before. Yes, I've said this word. Aha, how did we do it? Oh, we got stuck. Okay, that's how we'll do it now. This happens instantly. Sometimes you don't even know it's happening, right? It happens instantly and immediately. So that's a part of your identity, your current identity. So some of us, well, I don't want to change my identity. Well, then you're going to have a hard road, right? You're going to have a hard road ahead of you. You can change it, right, without modeling. It's just going to be harder. So when you model, you, just, you purposely distract yourself. You focus on someone that you enjoy the way they speak. You like the way they speak. You feel like if you spoke like that, it would bring out a better you. Now, that's important, and I'll talk about why that's important. But when you focus on that, then what happens is it's much easier for you to achieve that kind of speech than if you're trying to build your own out of nothing, right? You're trying to build your own, you're trying to create your own experiences without having a model, without having someone show you what it looks like and how it's done, okay? So, yes, you can do it, but it's harder, okay? Now, why is it important to pick a model who you can relate to, someone that you like the way they speak, you admire the way they speak, when, they, when you see them and hear them speaking, it energizes you, and you would like to speak the way they speak. That's important for authenticity purposes, right? You want to remain authentic. You, wanna, you don't want to speak in a way that's inauthentic, that's not like you. But on the same side, right, or if you will, on the other hand, you kind of do want to speak like someone else. So what am I talking? Is that double talk? No, it's not. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you a personal example. So years and years and years ago, I decided that I wanted to speak like Brian Tracy. And I picked him purposely because he had a more calm way of speaking and it was very smooth and I liked the way he inflected and I liked his hand gestures and his posture and the confidence. And I felt like, wow, if I spoke like that, it would be a better speaking me. Now contrast this with someone like a Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins. I personally don't like the way he presents, right? Or at least the way he used to present. His content is awesome, but I didn't like his speaking style. It just didn't work for me. I didn't even like to listen to him. And some people love listening to him. It's, it's, it taps into their personality and the way they see themselves speaking. And that's great. So therefore, if I had modeled someone like Tony Robbins, I would have been being inauthentic, right? Because it it, what, it wasn't consistent with my own personality, nor my own goals. However, Brian Tracy was consistent with my personality type and my goals and my speaking style. So I chose him as a model. So you choose someone that can help make you even more authentic and make you a better speaking you. 
brings out the best in you doesn't change you completely to someone else so my speaking style for example if someone's modeling me and it just goes against their grain then pick someone else as a model right pick someone else the thing you want to be careful of when it comes to speech and stuttering is you probably don't want to speak someone that speaks super fast because that's a major issue with people with many people who struggle with their speech is feeling rushed and speaking real fast okay so that's one thing that you want to look out for so getting down to this question of uh, why modeling and why you shouldn't model because it's changing your identity you want to change your identity temporarily right you want to change your speaking identity because your identity tells you that you're going to get stuck so you want to mimic and adopt someone else's speaking identity that's consistent with where you want to go with who you are you want to adopt that temporarily to create a new speaking identity so someone says well you shouldn't change your identity at all well the fact is we have to change our identity very often in many different ways if there's a characteristic or a skill that you want to acquire and it's not a part of your current skill set or your even your current identity like you don't see yourself that way you don't believe you can be that way you're changing your identity when you change that right so sometimes it's necessary for us to change aspects and dimensions of our identity does that make sense sometimes that's important there's nothing easy there's nothing fast but it's easier and it's faster to model and there's a lot of science behind it and you've done it anyway and professionals do it okay professionals do it all the time so if you are a professional and if you're striving to be a professional and you want to speak smoother and speak smoothly and you want to present powerfully those are skills that you need to learn and modeling is one of the ways to do it now if you're someone out there and you're like I just want to not stutter I just want to not stutter I don't care about presenting and all that stuff pro 90d speech system isn't for you it's just not for you now there are skills that we teach that you can use that can help you but there might be some other program out there that's better for you the pro 90d speech system is designed for professionals who want to speak smoothly and present more powerfully and want to take their speech in their life to the next level and if you have been struggled with stuttering severe or not severe or if you struggle with fast speech or choppy speech even fear of public speaking or you just even want to enhance the way you speak then this is probably a wonderful system for you because it's not just about not stuttering if you just want to not stutter then may maybe just learn the skills and, and that's it but if you want to become a superior speaker modeling is the skill of the professional it's the tool of the professional it's the tool of the mature and the wise and the intelligent person okay so hopefully I have answered some of your questions or addressed some of your uh, questions or issues with modeling if not please feel free to leave a uh, comment and let me know what you think about it uh, you may not like it and that's cool and you can share that with me um, but I hope that you have a better understanding of what modeling is to a degree and why it's an excellent tool and how it can help you get to where you want to go fast now here's a question that I didn't answer how long do you have to model so what I've seen is that if you model all the time every time you speak which is initially quite difficult but so is any other skill that you're learning right if you model all the time then I've seen people in eight weeks or less or 12 weeks or less not have to remind themselves to model they just start speaking using this new speaking style which is now their current they start speaking that way naturally people who don't remind themselves and just use it when they feel like they need it they have to model consistent they have to constantly struggle with it right because they're not using it all the time they're not building the neural network by using it uh, neurons that fire together wire together the less they fire together the less they're wiring together the less stronger they are your current neural pathway neural network that manages how you speak is going to be more dominant so you're constantly going to be fighting and struggling right if you build that new pattern by using this new way of speaking all the time it becomes easier and in 
a few months it becomes automatic. You don't have to think about it anymore. Some people want to continue to model for a while because they like the way a certain person speaks and they want to master that, right? And that's cool. But if you, if you like the way someone speaks, but you don't necessarily want to master how that person speaks, then you may only have to model for two or three months. Other people may want to model longer, okay? So I hope that I answered the question as well about how long it may take you to model. For some people, it may take them longer, six, seven, eight months. Right? For other people, it may just take several weeks. Okay? Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you inside the Pro90D if it's a good fit for you. All right, we'll see you soon.